John Taylor, president of Tertian and Quids. God, it's good to be up here. I've been standing in the mud right over there and my feet are cold. Uh, to be successful in any type of endeavor, you have to understand what the fight is about and who the sides are. It's too easy today to say the fight is between Democrats and Republicans or even conservatives and liberals. The fight today is whether we are going to be governed by the philosophy of our founding fathers or the philosophy of the progressive movement. These, these two philosophies cannot be reconciled because their basic tenets are mutually exclusive. A little more than 200 years ago, our founding fathers came on the scene and altered world history by setting a new order for the ages. No longer was the political hierarchy the king, the court, and as an afterthought, the people. Now the role of the sovereign would be performed by the people themselves. People had rights. Those rights did not come from government, so those rights could not be taken away by government. Yeah. The limited power the government had was by the consent of the governed, and the purpose of govern government was limited to protecting rights. Unfortunately, in the early part of the last century, the progressive movement started to take hold in this country with one mission, and that mission was to repudiate the philosophy of the Founding Fathers. Right. Under the progressive movement, no longer did you have rights because you were a human being, but you have whatever rights the government tells you you have. Under the progressive movement, I'm having a little trouble to win here, no longer do we enjoy free markets, but as Newsweek magazine recently said, we are now all socialists. <laughs> Under the progressive movement, no longer do we have private property because that has to be replaced by the redistributive state. Under the progressive movement, the objective standard of the rule of law in which every man who came before the bar of justice was equal had to be replaced with social justice where every man is treated differently depending on how politically well-connected he is. No. Under the progressive movement, the constitutionally limited government of the founders was to be much too confining, confining for those in power. They had to be swept aside by a living constitution that can say on any given day what those in power say it says. Progressive movement, you have to be kidding with the idea that sovereignty rests in the people. Sovereignty is vested in the government, and not just any government, but the federal government. And what is the purpose of government? Under the progressive movement, the purpose of government is not limited to protecting rights, because your rights are nothing more than an obstacle to the utopian visions of those in power in the first place. So there you have it. You must decide. Are you the intellectual heirs of the founders of this country? Yeah. Yeah. Now let me ask you a couple of questions. Does Nancy Pelosi decide what your rights are? No. Does, does Harry Reid decide that we are all socialists? No. Does your time, labor, income, and property belong to Barney Frank to redistribute no. anywhere he do you want to give Chucky e. Schumer the blank check called social justice? No. Do you want the current crowd in Washington to decide willy-nilly what the living constitution might mean today? No. Do you want to give up your sovereignty to Charlie Rangel? No. Do you want to entrust your country and the future of your children and grandchildren to our community activists in chief? No. Virginians have always been called on to lead, and we have always risen to that challenge. It's time for us to do that once again. As Tim Cuccinelli said, let's go home today with the attitude that we're going to take our Constitution back, and we're going to take our country back. Thank you.